to all my beautiful people. I'm so happy to see you today. It's Friday and I never upload a video on Friday, but here we are. I am coming to you from my living room in Miami and I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Give you guys such a big thank you for the support that you guys have given me on my shoe line. I am honestly so humbled and so overwhelmed with all the comments and all the positive feedback and all the suggestions and all the emails and I have talked to so many of you on the phones and through email and I'm just deeply and so grateful when you do things like this it's kind of a scary moment because you don't really know um, if people are going to like it however I am just so grateful to you know have you guys in my life and for the support that you guys have given me so i didn't really want this to be one of those things that i you you make a launch and then there's a lot of people that still want to get the some shoes and i know that a lot of people didn't get to the sales before the sales were closed because all this was in pre-order and i actually felt the panic because i would get emails from people and they're like are you still taking orders um are the sales still open how can i get some and it just went from being so something super simple to me feeling you know like the panic on people so i wanted to take a little bit of an extra measure and i put in an order for a couple of extra shoes that I knew were the ones that people were gonna like the most like the sands like the you know dark um, chocolate browns and a couple of other ones in different heels the thing is that when I made that order I was only supposed to get like maybe like 12 pairs extra and when I sent that to the factory plus you guys also changed the sizes a couple times after you ordered so I had to keep on updating the orders and the factory instead of taking that original order I made and updating it they just kept on producing all these shoes so I really didn't know about this until maybe yesterday and today where I actually received a shipment it wasn't that big but I received like a good amount of shoes there behind me of uh, extra shoes that the factory had just made for me there was like a mistaken communication and they produce this extra shoes I guess this is something that's really good for you guys for me it's just one of those surprises that it's like how oh, now I have to be very resourceful and now we have all these shoes that are here so i just thought of doing this little video with you guys and show you my shoe collection and then also kind of do like a shop with me how if you've been in my channel before whenever sometimes i go to store and i try on things for you I, we're gonna do the same thing here so i want to just show you my shoe collection and then i want to show you the styles and the sizes that i have available right now because they're going to be available on the website and you guys are welcome to go there and get them I don't know if I'm going to do this anytime soon. I think it would be a great idea to do something like this again for fall if you guys want to just because I reorder shoes in fall. But for that time, we are going to be a little bit more organized because I can tell you that I have learned so much through this uh, production run. To be quite honest with you, when I um, told you guys that, hey, let's make nude pumps for everybody, I honestly thought that it was going to be like 30 of you that were going to be like, oh yeah, you know, I want pumps. I went to sleep that night and I woke up to 200 orders in the website. So I was like, hmm, well, now we got to go and make these shoes. Um, so that's why it took a little bit longer, but now I have... I am literally a production ninja. Anyway, on that note, I wanted to open up a box with you guys and then I'm going to show you the entire collection. So when you get the shoes, this is what they look like. This is just a beautiful pink box. It has my name on the front. I mean, this is just how my shoes always come. It has my name in um, like in gold foil. And then we open it up and this is what they look inside okay so they are in this plastic bag because we want to protect them uh, from humidity we just need to protect the leather until you guys receive them so we open it up they come with this because they are stuffed um, in order to keep the shape and basically this is the sand suede now all shoes come with this here 
This is just a protective film for the sole. You know how sometimes you try on a shoe and it doesn't fit you, but then you're scared to like walk in them because you're gonna get this scratched? That's what that's there for. So uh, what you do when you get your shoe is that you peel this off. You're supposed to peel that off completely. After you peel that off, basically you just reveal the beautiful pomegiato sole. Pomegiato is leather, but it has a suede-like finish. If you have ever touched the sole of a Jimmy Shoe or a Monomolo Blonic, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And that's just like the most luxurious sole for me. I love to feel that velvety feel. Then it has my name on it and it has made in Italy. And like I have explained this to you guys before, but just in case this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, this is made from 100% Italian kid leather. This is the finest leather that you can possibly get your hands on ever. Italian kid leather is super supple. It's actually what they use to make Loro Piana shoes, Gucci shoes, you know, Fendi shoes. Hermes gloves, Uchi Gucci gloves, so that very soft leather, that's what kid leather is and that's what these shoes are made out of on the outside and on the inside, the sole. This shoe is 100% handmade in the original form that they used to make shoes 300 years ago. Everything is by hand, absolutely everything. And what that means is that, you know, there is a lot of energy and a lot of love that goes into making each and every single one of these shoes. The craftsmanship in this is absolutely insane. All I can tell you is these shoes retail for $190. You are never going to find a handmade Italian shoe for $190. So if you can get your hands on them now, do so because I don't know when I'm going to do this again and actually um, you can actually read in the comment section below everybody that has commented in my last video because I didn't want to make any of these videos until everyone had received their shoes. Right now, maybe like 10 people haven't received their shoes because they're changing sizes, but now you have a good chunk of people that can tell you if they're comfortable or not. And you know, this heel right here is a 105 heel and the way that this um, foot drop is done in the shoe last you really can't feel that it is a high heel. It's so comfortable. Your feet don't hurt with this drop. Obviously, if you spend many, many hours in them, absolutely, it's a high heel. Even my feet are going to hurt. But if you compare this to a Christian Louboutin shoe, this shoe is so comfortable. If you compare this to a lot of other shoes, these shoes are really, really comfortable. And um, yes, so I love them. Your feet are never gonna sweat in these. Something super important is that these are Italian size. So that means that they are, they run smaller than what we are used to shoes in the United States. So what I recommend is I always get my true size and then I stretch them out. The way that I like to stretch them out, I'm a 37 and a half, so I will get it in 37 and a half and because they stretch out a lot guys, a lot. So if I size up half a size, what's gonna happen is that the shoe is then going to be like flopping in the back once the shoes stretch out. However, it depends. If you have a wide foot and you're like a 37 and a half, get a 38, you need to size up because your foot is not gonna fit in the shoe. The way that I like to stretch them is um, I like to, I don't like to take them to the shoe repair guy because when they put the stretcher, it literally just kind of stretches the shoe here and that's not what I want. I want the shoe to have the foot, the shape of my foot, like a glove. So I take the shoe. If your shoe is tight, if you have, okay, if you received my shoe, now nah, you have your shoe, my shoe with you, you're going to take that shoe if it's tight and you're going to put it in the freezer overnight. Put it in the plastic bag it came in, okay? And put it in your freezer overnight and leave it there. And next day in the morning, so tomorrow, Saturday or Sunday, you're gonna do this. You're going to put on the shoe while it's cold from the freezer and I would put a sock on. It's gonna be so tight, so tight. But if you leave it on at least for like an hour and you walk around with them and all you know and just l let the, your foot really like it's going to stretch out the leather when you take off the socks and you take off the shoes trust me the shoe is going to have loosened up so much to the shape of your foot and just keep on doing that until you reach the desired you know um fit i only have to do that once 
and basically that's it those are my tips i've been doing that to the shoes for the last uh i don't know four five six years and now i am going to just take you around my living room where i'm actually keeping all the shoes and i am going to show you the collection and what i have Woo, that was a long intro guys wasn't that <laughs> suede shoes you have them in the sand and the almond color these are mine these are, are with a 90 millimeter heel you have them and i have them in the chocolate brown with a 105 heel i actually love this shoe this one right here is the nude b with a 105 millimeter heel it's just a beautiful warm beige just nude colors gorgeous and i have these in a size 36 and a half and a 37 and a 39 and i have three 40s this right here is the sand suede which literally guys this color just goes with everything and anything it's so beautiful this is the 105 heel and i have a lot of this shoe because this is actually the shoe that i had them make extra pairs for you guys and then they just made a lot more so i have this in 37 and a half in 38 in 39 in 39 and a half in 40 and in 41 and a half then we have this which is the um, nude d and the nude e like for you guys that always wanted to know the difference be between them it's so cool because you can actually see them here next to each other this is a very small one this is a very large one you can tell this is the nude e there's the nude e with the nude e i only have one pair left and is in size 42 everything is like literally flu and uh the nude D, I also ordered a couple extra ones on these because I just thought that this was just great for all of you that are darker skin tones. And this one, I actually have it in a 35, 36, 36 and a half, 37, 38 and a half, 39 and 40. So pretty good selection for this one. Now we are going to move over here. This is actually the suede equivalent to a nude C. Uh, this is my nude right here and I actually I'm not really that much into leather I just really love suede so I only had this color made for me and I'm not sure what happened but <laughs> I received all these pairs today I have a 37 a 37 and a half a 40 a 40 a 40 and a half and a 41 so if any of you ladies is my skin color and you love suede these are not on the website i'm going to put them up now in case any of you guys like them these are gorgeous these are available now we are going to go to the smaller heels here we have the 70 millimeter heels the 90 millimeters and the flats everything else you have seen before was 105. so in the 70 heel which a lot of you ladies love and even though it's a small kitten heel, it looks super sexy in the front because I just made sure that this was cut low and it looks like if it was a super high heel from the front. Honestly, they are so sexy. These I have left in this sand suede and in the chocolate brown in suede. They are gorgeous. And I also have them in the same 70 millimeter heel. I have them nude b and in the nude d so as you can see these are basically the equivalents as you can see these are just basically the equivalent of each other it just depends if you like more um, leather or if you like more suede the same thing goes here it depends if you like more uh, leather or if you like more suede so in 70 heel i have left a 36 39 39 and a half 39 and 40 and 41 so if any of you are any of those sizes make sure that you know you get your hands on them then we are going to move on to the 90 millimeter heel and in that i have um a couple of shoes left in a really nice variety I wanted to show you guys this because I think this is interesting. A lot of you guys are like, oh, what's the difference between the taupe and the suede? 
So the difference is that the taupe has just like this off-white grayish color and this looks insane in the summer with like jeans and the sand just has like a warmer color that um, it depends on you know what you're going for I really love this shoe and I really love this one I mean I just love all of them if not I wouldn't make them right in the 90 millimeter heel I have this taupe I don't have a lot of the taupes. I literally just have like two. I have one in 36 and a half and another one in 37. I have this, uh, the sand, and then I have the chocolate. Honestly, the chocolate, I only have it in a size 39. Other than that, it's like 37, 36 and a half, 37 and a half. And these ones, I will just make sure that I leave a list on the comment section with everything I have available. You guys, the flats! Oh, I have a surprise with you guys in the flats. So the flats, um, the flats, I have one left. These are the flats. I seriously love these flats. They are just so pretty and super soft. With the flats though, you, I would definitely recommend that you guys size up size up half a size because the way that they fit they are narrow they're narrow guys are italian and they're narrow um size up uh, in them so i have a this beige one it's a i only have one left in 38 and a half and then i have taupe sand and I have one 38 and a half if you're beige and then the rest of them are 40 so if you guys are size 40 you guys are basically in luck because there's a lot of like large shoes left now this is a surprise you guys the black the black flats I did not make any black shoes I made a black suede flat and a black leather flat and both of these are in size 40 and these are the only ones that I made. I made them, I made two pairs in size 40 and I made uh, pairs for me. And I did these because I did this for one of my best friends and she really wanted black flats and they just didn't end up fitting her. So they are brand new and if any of you is like a size 39 39 and a half and you guys are looking for beautiful black flats i mean look at these they are so luxurious then definitely um take advantage of this and take a look at them i hope that was very helpful to you ladies i will leave linked down below the list of all the shoes available in each size just make sure that you go on the website and that you get the shoe because there's not a lot of each size so take advantage of it all i can tell you is you are never going to find an italian handmade shoe for 190 dollars they sell those same shoes from the exact same factory just with the names of some of your favorite designers in the store for 700 and 800 dollars so really guys take advantage of it i am not just talking to talk i am telling you and i am backing up what i'm telling you so take advantage of it if you have any questions regarding sizes anything do let me know and i send you guys a huge hug and have a lovely friday and a fabulous weekend i see you guys in my next video next time you see me i will be in london i'm actually leaving to london tomorrow morning i send you guys a big kiss bye